National Assembly Transport Committee wants the Kenya Airports Authority Board and Management Team disbanded. Chairman David Kipo Singh says KAA has deliberately failed to repair the Wilson Airport while sitting on huge funds allocated to it to maintain local airports. Faisal Ahmed has that story. You have a very critical question that you need to answer. It is a move that the David Kosing led transport committee insists results from what they call neglect of the Wilson Airport. This following revelations by Kenya Civil Aviation Authority and operators that the runways at the airport had potholes. The airport recently witnessed an accident and an incident involving Silverstone Air and Safari Link within weeks. That this committee recommended to the permanent secretary in charge of transport. Uh, Esther Koymet to reorganize KAA. We have given her two, two months because we feel that there is a problem in KAA. In terms of implementation, they are, they are very low. The parliamentary team also took issue with KAA for holding huge cash reserves but starving their facilities of maintenance. This, they added, made the authority attractive to the national treasury as it mops up cash to show up the national government operations. We gave them 1.3, about 1.3 billion last financial year and I'm told that it's not been spent. Treasury has written to them to return about 12 billion, which it is in reserve. Reserve for what? Well, the airstrips are in deplorable uh, situation. They have been asked to return uh, 12 billion to Treasury. That means that there's something wrong. There is absolutely something questionable in KAA. In its defense, KAA says that it has already commissioned repairs at Wilson and with plans to overhaul the runway. Wilson, which is a airport that has been uh, in the news uh, in relation to uh, the condition of the pavement and the runway, we've actually undertaken what we'd call emergency repairs uh, to address uh, the very immediate need of uh, sealing those potholes. We have uh, <clears throat> another plan of actually uh, doing a more uh, comprehensive job in terms of strengthening the pavements. I think this is a reactive uh, by KA. Yes, KA are not up to speed in terms of repairs, in terms of, uh, you know, maintaining the airstrips. They are not up to speed. That, that already is in record. KCA requested to be exempt and will appear before the committee on the 12th of November. The Transport Committee says that it will work overtime to ensure that it restores 100% confidence in Kenyans over the state of the country's air travel, given the recent events that have taken place in the aviation space. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.